Part of that phone conversation I have is I always ask the person, so what do you do in the weight room? And if the guy's a guy, he'll always say, the correct, I, there you go, I can just see everyone just go, I bench 500 pounds. That's always the first statement, because that's what every guy thinks of. Okay, then I do three chin-ups, and then I'm waiting for everything else. And it's not, it's never forthcoming. I never hear the five basic human movements then. What I hear on the phone is, number one, I always hear about push first. I always hear about pull second. The third movement that you don't hear very much is called hinge. And we're going to spend some quality time on that today. The fourth movement is something I call a squat. Now, I call, call it a squat, and yet what I usually see is not squat. Okay? This is not squatting. In fact, I don't know how people can do that. That hurt right there. I, I don't know how you... And the fifth basic human movement, there's a sixth one, but we're holding on it, is what I call loaded carries. Loaded carries. In order, this is how I hear them. I always hear push, almost always hear pull. Sometimes I hear a hinge movement, a deadlift or a clean, maybe. Sometimes I hear a squat, though I usually hear it hurts my knees. And I never hear I do loaded carries, which we'll get to in just a minute. If I was to put these in order as how I can impact you overnight, the order would be like this. Loaded carries, I can change your life in three weeks. Squat, hinge, pull, push. I can guarantee your kids, when they show up to Stanford's weight room, they want to bench press. They want to lay down and bench press. Because I, I know that because I work with the Pac-12 basketball player years ago, and all he ever wanted to do was bench press. Six foot nine guy who walked around like this and want a bench press. <laughs> to get you, to get the first level of intervention then. Okay, so intervention one is this. Getting you to some kind of loaded carry. If I get that, three weeks later you call me up and you say, Dan, you're a genius. I practice blushing often, I go, oh, what, please, genius is a true but overworked term, but yes, keep talking, no, just, is there more? Because if I can get you just a farmer walk, just farmer walk, in three weeks you're better. But, but isn't it, but these guys, okay, so I told farmer walk to a ballet dancer and a basketball team and they both worked, why? Well, how come? Because they weren't doing them. <laughs> what? Okay, what you do is you find the things they don't do and you make them do it. I just gave you, okay, I can, uh, thank you very much. I'm glad you came. Uh, they don't do it. I have them do it. Three weeks later, they're better. 